Oh, it looks good to me. Drama, drama. Red, drama. Enough. So you're straight from the radio, mm -hmm. and then you are doing a voiceover here for the show. Yep. And then you're straight in to the show immediately after. It's happening now. So the, the contestants are in their either penthouse or the basement, basement yeah. in a building in central London. And it's happening now, so we're filming it. We, know, we don't know the end, and the start has already gone out on TV. I quite like that. Yeah. It makes it really exciting. You Very feel right. like you're really sort of part of it. Mm -hmm. um, so let's explain it, because you've got... Initially, there were 16 contestants, yep. if you like, and they're split into rulers and grafters. Mm -hmm. There are more grafters than rulers. Mm -hmm. You take it from there. So 16 contestants, they're from all walks of life. So some of them are leaders in the real world. Some of them are you know, proper hard workers. Mm -hmm. They might be they're teachers or nurses or carers, and there are some people who are business leaders and, and have their own companies. And they're all, everything's reset at the start of the show. So they, we, we split them into rulers and grafters. The rulers live in this amazing penthouse yeah. at the top of the building, Fancy. top of the skyscraper. And the grafters live in a basement. And it's the real basement of the building, which we've made to look sort of quite prisony. It's very cold. They get minimal sort of basic rations. No cold water. showers. Cold showers. And it's been fascinating to see not only the reaction so far, oh but also how these people join forces. What, what do you do if you're thrown together? And actually what we've seen so far is that the grafters tend to have better camaraderie. They're like, yeah, screw them! Well, you know, fight the power! That kind of thing to is the rule. Is because people are united by having a sort of something to hate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> this show... It it's this really interesting social experiment, Absolutely. actually, because it sort of reflects the power struggles that everybody has. Yeah, well, everyone loves, you know, taking the mickey out of their bosses and uniting and going, oh, they're sitting up there in their ivory tower and we're doing the hard yards. Yeah. And that's what's so interesting about this. It is society reflected back at us and made into a game. And the, the alliances that are formed and the rulers, because I'm in the red room where I have to be very serious in suits yes, and sort of do. command and, you know, be mischievous, mischievous and stuff. And... Um, it's interesting to see the rulers, they really believe it. And immediately they put the little ruler's badge on and they're there and they just, they just, oh, the rulers. So, so, yeah. so it can swap? Yeah, yeah. You, how, how does it, how do you end up from being a grafter and, and then getting yourself up to, to, to being a ruler? Yeah, so the, the way the show is won is that only one ruler can win the prize fund, which could be up to £100,000, so big money. But only a ruler can win that, so you have to either be voted up by your fellow grafters and then... Often two of them get brought up to the penthouse and the rulers then decide. And they say, come on then, pitch to us, why should you be up here with us? And assuming that they've never seen it, so they've been, if they've started the show down in the basement, they yeah. won't really know what's up there. Yeah, they don't know what, anything that's going on, really. They see, they, they see a few sort of state messages from the rulers to say, yeah. this is what you'll be working on today, this is what's happening. Um, but it's interesting, some of the grafters, when they came up and we've been shooting, they've said to me, oh, we just thought you were doing the intro. We didn't know you were doing this. Um, they don't know that I'm upstairs with the rulers commanding the red room with them. So they're like, oh, we just thought you were doing one day and that was it. Uh, so they, you know, they don't know anything. You're grafting too. Yeah, and I'm, I'm always. <laughs> but they are locked in this building as well. That's the one thing that people keep asking me. My friends keep going, are they actually in yeah, there? They're... They are in there the whole time. I can't work out what's the smarter gameplay because in episode one, you literally saw them, like some people nominating themselves to go up and mm. be rulers. I mean, they just barge their way through. And I, I can't, I think... If given the choice, isn't it better to go and graft and work? I mean, if you're thinking the long yeah. end game, you want to graft, earn respect and get up there. Well, you don't want to just steal it. Exactly. That's what I thought when I heard about the show. I went, I think you'd be a ruler. Uh, you'd be a grafter to begin yeah. with. Yeah. You are with everyone. You can win friends. The whole show is about power, power dynamics. What happens when you're given power? How do you use it? How do you, how do you lead people? Do you do it with compassion? Do you do, is it tough love? Is mm -hmm. it that kind of thing? But I think you're right. I, I would have been a grafter to begin with. But there's different game plans because there are some rulers in the, in the first episode who went, no, no, I want to do that. And they volunteered themselves to go up to the top. Yeah. And I can't give too much away, but no, of course. it gets very dramatic very quickly. But right. does it, yeah. So uh, does it pay in, in, in your building? Um, <laughs> does it pay to be kind? or nice, or do you have to be ruthless? Well, I think there's, there's a bit of both, and I think that's what they're finding so difficult as a ruler. It's much more stressful to be a ruler in this game, but ultimately that's how you win it. But they are finding it hard to be nasty, and they don't want to push the grafters too much because then they'll turn against them, mm. and there are lots of twists along the way. The grafters aren't powerless the whole time, mm. 
without giving too much away, but there is, you have to make sure that people are on side and that your workers are happy. Great idea. This is the same um, producers as The Traitors. Mm. And I mean, and that went on screens and everybody just yeah. loved it. And it seems to be a real appetite for this sort of programme. Yeah. Well, I guess, you know, in the, with the last few years we've had, we have been told lots of rules and then we've just gone, OK, let's follow those rules. And then sometimes that's, been a, that's not gone so well for the government and all the rest of it. So, you know, power dynamics are so interesting. Yeah, what, true. Why do we listen to these people? Why should we? What are we? Why are we working hard for these people and they're taking big bonuses and all that kind of stuff? So these sorts of shows are amazing because they do reflect certain bits of society. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's a fun show. It's really funny. Some of it is hilariously funny, but it's very dramatic and very, uh, and, and very tense. But also, the great thing about stuff on Channel 4 is it does have a point sometimes and you go, this is uncomfortable. Why am I finding it uncomfortable? Oh, right, it's because it's society coming yeah. back at me. Make so it's, it's a really interesting show. And a great gig for you. Oh, my God. You're on the telly. Philip, <laughs> it is a dream gig. When the, <laughs> when the call came through and they said, sign this, we want to tell you something secret. I went, OK, what is it? And um, it was from the same people that did The Traitors. Yeah. And I thought, wow. So I actually went and met them in the building. I sort of walked into the Red Room and they told me the show. And they said, so is it something you'd be interested in? Yeah. I went, I'm not even going to pretend to be called that. <laughs> yeah. This is the sort of TV show that I've wanted to do for a long time. Because you brilliant. get to mess around with it and yeah. put your stamp on it. And, yeah. and also, it's not really about me. It's about conducting everything. And I'm, I feel quite comfortable in that, in that sort of role. Like on The Breakfast Show, the mm. ringleader role I really enjoy. Mm. So it's but you're been... really lovely on The Breakfast Show. And I suppose if you've got to be quite tough on this, that's... that's yeah, I mean... Quite, that's not really you. I'm where it... I can be tough, because <laughs> you watch me. Um, I will throw this pillow at you. Uh, I... So tough. <laughs> Not the pillow. Oh, right. Damn it, damn it. Damn it. That's I... so violent. But I, I think it's really fun to do all sorts of things. I like being dramatic. I've, I've got a drama degree. I like being... I yeah. like doing that sort of thing. And I really love wearing nice suits and sort of presiding over the, the team. It's a really fun thing to, to play yeah. with. But it's a fun show, and I'm allowed to have fun with it, I oh, get to definitely. know the contestants. And I really, you know what? I really like people. I like people that call into my show. So the contestants, you know, we're, we've got a nice rapport going on. So it's, yeah. um, it's fun to play that sort of Claudia. Well, it's really role. lovely yeah. to see you. I haven't felt like I haven't seen you in here for a long time. Uh, Rise and Fall continues tonight at 10 p.m. on Channel 4. Well Thank done you. with the podcast as well. Sold out the London Palladium twice. That's not bad going. I know. Good and, going. This is, and it's a cricket pod podcast. I know, well. right? Yeah. Loosely cricket based. Loosely cricket, yeah. Thanks well, for having well. me on this morning. I love it here. Uh, <laughs> I just sit and watch the rest of it. Yes, up. Hey, hey, food. Oh, up. Food. Can you not smell? Can you smell the food? Is it Paul Ainsworth? It, it is. is. Oh, love there Paul Ainsworth. He's very yeah, good. He's in the kitchen.